So my last question pertaining to this audio is, do you think a lot of women try to weaponize their emotions in an attempt to be right when they're having a back and forth with a man? So, you know, um, like like the woman said in the audio, um, a lot of women, will, you know, they'll, ex they'll express how they feel. And mm -hmm. when a man will say, well, I, I understand you feel like that, but I didn't mean such and such like that. It wasn't, you shouldn't have taken it like that. That wasn't my intentions. Or, you know, there's oftentimes where a woman may feel a way, but the way you feel is not negating the facts of the situation. And, you know, they try and then, but then when you say stuff like that, they try to say like you gaslighting them or, you know, try to weaponize their tears. You know, so my question is, do you think women try to weaponize their emotions in an attempt to be right a lot of times? <laughs> a lot of, a lot of women weaponize um, a lot of things. Not just their emotions, emotions, but even that narcissism word, they they weaponize that too. Because a lot of people want to be woke. Let's just be real. A lot of women want to be woke, and a lot of women want to be, you know, what I'm saying so politically correct. But let's be honest, like we all know that we are emotional emotional creatures, right? Right. So right. if I'm an emotional creature, then a man is going to he he. Some men don't know how to control the things that they say and i'm not saying don't allow them to disrespect you but some men they just the, the way that they come off with things but a lot of women are very sensitive to the fact because they know at the end of the day their excuse is going to be i'm an emotional creature, a creature. Right. right you know what i'm saying and you cannot do that at the very end of the day let's like you, you it has to be like i said some type of balance there because if we're always having a conversation and every time you say something to me, I'm always on defense mode or I'm always in my emotions, then that means we're not going to have any co effective communication. You feel what I'm saying? Our communication is not going to be effective at that point because how can you come and say something to me as your woman if I'm always talking about me being emotional? We cannot have that, that grown-up conversation. If I can't put my big girl draws on and say, babe, let's sit down and have this conversation. I need to have a conversation with you and if he don't, if he can't tell his point of view without you being in your emotions, then the, the conversation going to be null and void. What is there to talk about? What is there to talk about? You feel what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't understand that because they, everybody, everybody, like I said, always want to be, be right because society has tainted the image of a woman always being in control when it comes down to the emotions in a relationship. That's just the God honest truth. Ladies, how y'all feel about what, how y'all feel about what she just said? Is is that true or is that false, ladies? Ouch. I'm just I'm just saying. I and, and the reason that I'm speaking like that is because I was one of those women. But a lot of women don't understand that they, that they weaponize emotional and, and you know what I'm saying emotional intelligence, but they also are narcissists narcissists themselves. A lot of women don't like to have that conversation because they feel like, oh, well, I'm an emotional creature. I'm an emotional being. Yeah, but you are, you, you're you also a, 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 a grand manipulator as well because you use your emotions as, as an excuse to act the way that you act. Because society has said that you have been or you are, you know what I'm saying, a, um emotional creature. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of women don't like to have that conversation because a lot of a lot of people like to be like, oh, well, she's a pick me and it ain't even about that. Let's have the sit. Let's have the grown up conversations that a lot of people like to steer away from. I'm just just saying. Man. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna be real. You called me up here to be real, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I did. And we okay, okay. So let me read, ladies and gentlemen. Let me read what my friend Paris had to say. I'm very interested to hear what Akira has to say about this. So let me read, let me read what my friend had to say, okay? So first one reads, niggas be bragging about buying their mom a house and being a homeowner is definitely an accomplishment, but your mother is not your responsibility. If anything, that says a lot about her lack thereof and you having to do for her what a man couldn't or didn't do. And we proceed. Your mother is not your responsibility. So accomplishing shit and giving her the reward is really just continuing the cycle. Your mama needs to know you are her child 
and you don't owe her shit, and anything you do for her is out of love, not a requirement. Mm. We continue. You you bought your mom a house, but your baby mama's still renting, and you ain't got a place that you own. Real loser shit. Your mother will be fine. Learn to leave the nest, nigga. And we continue. Oh. Oh. It, it keep going. Your mama having you in poverty says a lot about her deductive reasoning. She made sacrifices as a parent because she was supposed to. You don't owe people that. That was her responsibility. No child asked to be here. And the last thing she had to say is, I don't expect niggas who been their mama everything from day one to agree with me. Y'all still attached to the nipple. We get it. I'm still standing on your mama is not your responsibility, despite how much you want to show her gratitude. Akira, how do you feel about you know what she had? What she had? How do you feel about you know showing gratitude? A, a child showing gratitude to their parent, especially their mother, and just everything that she had to say with that. Now, how do you feel? What do you think about it? Um, Tahoe logic is trash. Cause it sounds like me you just hurt, to be real. Cause it be, it shouldn't be no reason. Cause my, my the way the way that I the way that I see things is if a man treats his mother correctly and he loves his mother and he and he goes over and beyond to um, make sure that his mother is straight. What do you think that he's gonna do to his wife? You feel what I'm saying? So why would that be a problem with you? It sounds like to me that the men in your life has put you last and you and you have finally got tired of it. So now you are bashing men when it comes down to them catering to their mother. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you got to, and, and a lot of people don't understand at the very end of the day, it might sound like she got some sense, but that she's, she's a bird brain. Cause why oh. are you, why are you affected by something that, that a man does for his mom? He's actually, if, if, if his mom is not, is not the first person or the first woman that he honoring in his life, what makes you think he's going to honor you as a wife? I'm just being real. What make you think he's going to honor you as a wife? But a lot of people don't like to have those conversations because a lot of people like to be politically correct all the time. Like, it's it's really crazy and it's really dumb. She said, I don't expect for blank yeah, to be said, in their mama everything from day one to agree with me. Y'all still attached to the nipple. We get it. I'm still standing. I'm still standing in your mama. What's she say? And not your responsibility despite how much you want to show your gratitude. <laughs> a grown a grown man showing gratitude to his mom at the end of the day is not is not a bad thing. But what I feel like is 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 happening is a lot of times there is narcissistic men that that are attached to their moms because their moms condone their behavior. You have moms out here that are that are very obsessive with their sons and they and they actually get a kick out of um, their their sons dating multiple women and dragging women through them. Like those are the type of men that we need to have those conversations about. But men that actually show their moms true love and pure love out of out of respect and honor. It shouldn't be no reason that that that, that should be a problem. I don't I don't feel like that is an issue. Let me let me ask you this, though, Kira. Um. Do you think do you think when a man um, actually has a family of his own, do mm. you think his mom should still be? I don't want to say a priority, but do you should his should his should his wife and kids, should his family be his number one priority? Like, should he be trying to do more for them than his mom? Like, wh where do you stand on that? Absolutely. If you if you are a man and you building your own family, it shouldn't be no reason why you're not putting your family above your mother. Your mother, your mother birthed you to build your own family. It shouldn't be no reason why you're allowing your mother to be um, prioritized over the, over the family that you built. Because if so, you're showing me how how you really feel. You feel what I'm saying? I don't I don't care. I don't care how you, how what type of relationship you got with your mom. You can be the closest person. You can be the closest dude ever to your mama. But if you cannot honor your family that you created, how do you expect me to honor you as a wife? You feel me? Like how I'm gonna how am I gonna honor you if you if you can't even honor your family that you have created, a family that has come from you? 